Hello and welcome to Handyman's Guide 101, how to fix a leaky shower head. If you ever have a shower head that's leaking, just try replacing the gasket around the shower head first. If that doesn't, try replacing the whole shower head. If that doesn't work for you, you gotta get a little more deep into the issue. Your problem, your problem is that's actually gonna come from behind the wall. So we're going to replace this cartridge that's inside this wall here. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And make sure you always turn the water off before working on any plumbing. So no files can be actually right on the unit itself, but some actually might be hitting somewhere else, maybe behind my panel or so. And remember to turn off a valve, it has to be against, away from the pipe. When it's against the pipe, it's on, the water's flowing. When it's away from the pipe, the water's turned off. So we gotta get down to this, stay tuned. First, I'm gonna show you how to take off this right here. First thing you have to do is turn off this right here. You have to turn this. Make sure not to crack that piece inside. All right, next thing you have to do is pop this puppy off right here. Sometimes you might need a knife or a razor to cut this off. Take a look at that. So you can see, first thing we're gonna do right now is take that screw off, then take that screw off. Once we take those off, this component right here will come right out. With this part right here, I'm gonna do like a speed up video for you guys, and then you'll be able to see. All right, we got that face covering off now. Like I was telling you before, these things usually have, or sometimes, a shutout valve. You got one on the left and you got one on the right. And that'd be clockwise to turn those off. All right, let's get down to turn those down, shall we? All right, now that water shut off. Now, just in case you do have a one that's not connected to here, usually these lines is close by somewhere, or even in your basement or something else from that. That's something you have to find within your own domain. But I'll show you as far as mine go. Either I can shut this water here, or I can shut the water off here. See, those are against the pipe, let you know these are still on. And this will shut the water off this to this whole area. But I'll need to shut this water off right now, up here, because I already turned it off in the shower itself, which we're working on. All right, now we can actually take those two off. I was using my trusty 10 to, 10 to one, the best tool for the job. Careful not to lose these screws. All 
don't be a little scared. If you see like a little water come out, it'll be fine. Just leaving that last bit of pressure off the line. Alrighty, there you go. Got that first part of that cartridge out right there. Yeah, and if you can see, I got those screws just fell. Those are gaskets on there that needs to be replaced. But I'm just gonna replace with a whole new unit and then adjust the temperature gauge. All right. And then this right here will have to come out too as well. Sometimes you might need some pliers to do that. All right. All right, there you go. Before you put anything back in the mason, those gasket, if you see like the gaskets that's not in there, I stick a finger in there and just kind of grab those out of there because it'd be kind of hard to put that back or you don't want no water leaking through that pressure. So, like for this one, you can see those two are still on there. I'll make sure it's two. Kind of clean it up, make sure it's nice and dry when you put it back. All right, time to get the new ones and grease them up. Just to touch bases, this is everything that either I took out or I need to finish fixing this issue for the constant leak. You can see I have my brand new ones here. And that's that part number that you'll need for the inside part. That's George Perry 800 820. It's a little bit different. We go from there and make sure you do put these units back in. Make sure the correct label is on the top of it. Usually I say like some word or writing either for Kohler or anything else. If you put it in backwards, you're gonna pretty much change your flow of water. You might have the hot on the left or on the cold side on the right. Make sure, what I've come to find out in a lot of these units too, you want to make sure you keep this top bracket right here. Don't throw this away. Just use this back on the new unit. Because if you don't, it's going to be kind of hard for those screws to go back in. This is the plate I'm talking about right here. That's right in there. So we're going to get down to uh, getting it together now. Start getting these parts suited up and ready to go. This component right here comes a couple gaskets and whatnot. And remember that thing I was saying about, make sure this is facing the right side too as well. So when I get ready to put this back in there, this is gonna go this way. See, if I put it this way right here, it might actually make reverse the water temperature. So make sure it goes straight in that way. You might want to use some pliers when you stick it in there. We're gonna put some grease around these areas and here just to make sure everything's uh, working pretty good. You know, you don't have to, but um, that's just my preference, I, I choose to. It actually give you a little bit of grease, a little ball of grease that comes with it. I think I just rolled off the table or something, but I actually have my own to the grease for it. So, yeah. Get this together. I got my little bit of silicone grease, a little cheap little thing right here you can get anywhere. So I'm just gonna grease these sides up right here, and then just go from there. I'm going to spin my finger around it. Oh, I'm going to get inside the unit. All right, check out that back there. these new gaskets on there. Actually, you could get you a couple of good, um, good gaskets that come with this too to help you out. So yeah, I'll put those in there next. Sometimes, you know, these are kind of optional to put on there. So I'll grease these up usually. Kind of roll it away from me. And then they just go there. With the little second optional gasket should go. Because I've come to find out that uh, two, of the, two of these uh, ones I replaced so far, this was basically too tight to go into the wall, back into the wall. So we're gonna try this first without it and everything's good. Now I'll just save these for another time. All right, now back now to this one now. See if 
Oh, there's that little thing I was telling you about, a little bit of grease right there. So you got some new screws too, just change them out because they're nice and shiny. And that part number for this one right here is that, that George Perry 777-59. It's a color part right here. Really good place. You can find these on Amazon too as well if you need these. Uh, kind of find out like a lot from Kohler, a lot of their parts are discontinued, but you actually can find these on Amazon if you would need to replace some of these parts or whatnot. So, yeah. So what you're gonna do with this where since you got it open, you're gonna take this little tab over here off and take this plate off. Remember I was saying before, make sure you save this one that goes in there. Save this one. A lot of times you got this little divot that goes in there on the side of the uh, component you have that's in that wall. So definitely save this. And then also, you're gonna need to take this uh, part off right here because this is what the shower handle connects to right here. So you're gonna just unscrew that off and put it the same way as here. This already is at the uh, the off position, so you don't have to worry about that. If you wanna adjust the temperature on here, you have to adjust this little dial right here, the set screw. Basically turn uh, like a half, not even a half of inch, like three fourths of an inch or whatnot, a little bit less. It may be like a half a turn and then it should be good to go. Every time you increase, they increase the temperature. So now we're gonna grease up these gaskets up here and a gasket around here. All right, set that up right now. See, got it all nice and greased. Got that component on there now too. Put that in place. Now we're gonna be able to adjust this temperature on here too as well. What you will need right here, five and six fourths. You're gonna need this part right here, this Allen key. It's good to have one of these multi ones, you know, if we get different sizes to uh, adjust any set screws or anything you need. You know, turn, this, turn this all the way up. Let's see what it gets there. Like I said, you're gonna do like a little half of a turn inside of there. So it's a half a turn. Darren, good to go for that. Two parts ready to go. So let's get them done. What are y'all saying, guys? Make sure you kind of clean in there first. Just want to clean around in there. Get her done. That's good now. All right. Now let's see about this part right here. So it's nice and greased up. Go on back in there properly. There we go. Nice aligned. Properly in there now. All right. So now we're going to get that in there. best thing so I slice bread now I'm gonna turn this valve on and turn this valve on and go from there make sure this thing is shut off so you see with that little piece on there Sometimes these things will leak, it's best we pay attention. And it's because of that gasket too. So let's see. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. So there's a proper setting right now. This is cold water that's coming out. Turn it all the way up. So that temperature riser. Yep. And that's hot water right there. Give it a few seconds. Make sure, like I said, look around there and make sure it's not no uh, water coming out the side of the seal. Yeah, now let's uh, finish putting this thing back together. Next part. Line that thing back up on there properly. <clears throat> Those two long screws. Labels on correctly. So the gauge is on that side. Now with this part right here, I'll say it can be a little, you know, maybe spray itself or whatnot. So just kind of make sure you kind of keep that cocked that way, you know. Line that back on there. Thing I kind of forgot to get, which I'll go. There you go. Oh, yeah. No drips now. What's up, the one since I just turned it on, but yeah. But there you have it. That's how you change out a cartridge for a shower head. All right. Thanks, guys.